FileMaker 17 adds three new calculation functions, including get UUID number, get sensor, and get active record number. Get UUID number is pretty straightforward, providing a numerical version of the already existing universally unique identifier for distributed systems. Get sensor is for iOS, and I won't be covering it, but it's pretty straightforward if you have development in that area. That leaves the very intriguing get active record number. It's a sibling function to get record number. You'll see that we have inside this found set portal the record number and the active record number. And as soon as I switch to the second row here, this one updates to a two. The record number is just the order of the records in the found set, whether it's sorted or found or whatever, it's a relative number. The active record number actually gives you the number of that record that's clicked. So the idea here is they're sibling functions because they can be used together to create cool features. So let's take a look at it. Let's go in and see what we're doing here. You can already see that as I click through here, the text highlights in red and this button shows up. So we're doing two things. We're making a button appear only on the selected row and making the selected item stand out by making the text red. So it's pretty easy to do. We just go into our conditional formatting here. And you'll see we have get active record number equals get record number. If that's true, make it bold and red. Simple as that, right? It's a little bit different on this button when you look at the hide object. We'll come over here and look at it. Notice that we're doing not equals on this one because, of course, you're trying to hide this when it's true. So it's the opposite of the conditional formatting. That's pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's not earth shattering, but I think what you'll find out is people will come up with different solutions other than these very basic straightforward ones uh, in the coming months and years, you know, since, uh, you know, they'll combine some feature that we didn't even think about, not even FileMaker Incorporated think about. But this is the example that they show inside of the online help, uh, which is the hiding the button or showing it on the selected row. Now, the highlighted text came from a gentleman named Richard Carlton. He tell, told me about that on the forums, and I thought that was pretty cool. There's no way to highlight the text using any of the features inside the inspector. You might think you could come over here and get in here and change uh, some of the uh, appearances and make a display, you know, depending on whether uh, we're on uh, the button states hover, or pressed, or in focus. It just doesn't work. It won't, it won't, you don't have that ability. So, this is your only alternative, at least at this point. Now, if we go over to list view, we'll say the same record number and active record number. But see, as we go through and click on the rows, the active record number doesn't update unless you refresh the window. That's because the, this active record number is really designed for the new found set portal. It will work in list view, but you have to refresh. In fact, while we're at it, realize that if we're inside of a portal, it won't work in here at all. You won't get an active record number. It'll just be the same. It'll be the number of the, the master record that's here, not the records in the portal. It doesn't work like a, you know the record number if you put in there will actually number the portal rows. It just doesn't do that. But making this update or this refresh is pretty simple. What we do is we go into layout mode, look at our layout setup, look at our script trigger and it says on record load refresh. So what's our refresh script look like? Come in here, find the refresh, there it is, and simply this line right here. Look at the object name because it's a refresh object, I didn't need to refresh the entire screen. Look at the question button, Repetition one and refresh. It's very simple, very straightforward. Every time the record loads, run that script. And so you can see that if we looked inside the inspector, that if we look at the name of that, it's called the question button. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple, not going to offer a lot of overhead. So I, I view this as a feature that will work in list view pretty well. So they're exactly the same formulas for your highlighting of the text and for showing the button. It's just that refresh button, uh, that refresh script that has to run to make it work properly. 
So good luck with this feature. I find it very intriguing. We'll enhance interfaces, and I think we'll find some intriguing developments with this in the future as people start messing around with FileMaker 17.